Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Steve Warner and today I'm going to talk about absolute value and distance. The absolute value of A, which is written as an A with two bars around it, it just takes whatever number is between the two bars and makes it non-negative. So as some simple examples, the absolute value of 3 is just 3. The absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. The absolute value of 0 is 0. 0 is a non-negative number 2. Absolute value of pi minus 3, well that's pi minus 3. Why? Because pi minus 3 is a positive number. Remember that pi is approximately 3.14. But what's most important is that it's larger than 3. So when we subtract 3 from pi, we still have a positive number. So when you take the absolute value, you can just remove the two bars. The absolute value of 3 minus pi, well, this is slightly trickier. Because 3 minus pi is a negative number for the same reason. Pi is bigger than 3. So we have to turn that into a positive number. How do you turn a negative number to a positive number? Well, you negate it. So we need to negate 3 minus pi. Distributing that minus sign gives negative 3 plus pi, and it's a little neater to write that as pi minus 3. So the absolute value of 3 minus pi is also pi minus 3. In fact, 3 minus pi is precisely the negative of pi minus 3. In general, a minus b and b minus a are negatives of each other, and so they have the same absolute value. I'll get back to that a little bit more very soon. Okay, let's look at a simple example. The absolute value of 5 times negative 4 plus 3 times 5. This can all be done on the calculator, but it's also pretty simple to do it by hand. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. 3 times 5 is 15, so we have the absolute value of negative 20 plus 15, which is the absolute value of negative 5, which becomes positive 5, and that's choice C. Okay, I already gave you an informal definition of absolute value, which says just make the number non-negative. Here are a couple of equivalent, more formal mathematical definitions. The absolute value of x is the square root of x squared. So in other words, you square the number and then take the square root. Another definition is that the absolute value of x is just x if x is not negative, and it's the negative of x if x is negative. This last part of the definition can be a bit confusing because in this situation, negative x is actually a positive number. If x is negative, then negative x is negating a negative number, therefore making it positive. All right, so let's look at an example. We'll compute the absolute value of negative 3 using each of these definitions. So first, using the square root definition, we're going to take the square root of negative 3 squared. When we square negative 3, remember that's negative 3 times itself. A negative times a negative is positive, so we get positive 9. And the square root of positive 9 is positive 3. Using the second definition, because negative 3 is a negative number, we use the second part of the definition, and we take the negative of negative 3, which is actually positive 3. Hopefully this example clarifies any confusion that might be caused by the last part of that second definition. Let's look at another example. For all real numbers x and y, the absolute value of x minus y is equivalent to which of the following? Well, we're going to use this first definition to somehow get square roots into this problem. And we're going to do that by substituting the thing in the absolute values in for x in this expression. So replacing x by x minus y, we get the square root of x minus y squared, which is precisely 
choice D. Now let's talk about distance. The distance between x and y is the absolute value of x minus y. If you were paying close attention to the first example, you would understand that the absolute value of x minus y is always equal to the absolute value of y minus x. So as an example, the absolute value of 5 minus 3, or the absolute value of 3 minus 5, they're the same, is equal to 2. Simply because the distance between 3 and 5 is 2 units. Here's 3, here's 5, and that's a distance of 2 units. Here's another example. Let's solve the following three equations and inequalities for x. The absolute value of x minus 3 equals 7. In words, this says that the distance between x and 3 is 7. So if we start with 3 on a number line and we go 7 units in each direction, we get two numbers, 10 and negative 4. So there are two solutions to this equation. x is equal to negative 4 and x equals 10. Let's look at the second one. The absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 7. So this time we want the distance between x and 3 to be less than 7. Well, the distance will be less than 7 if we're anywhere between negative 4 and 10. So the answer here is that x must be strictly between negative 4 and 10. So when is the absolute value of x minus 3 greater than 7? Well, that's when we're either in this region out here or this region out here. So in other words, we want x to be less than negative 4 or for x to be greater than 10. The solution set of which of the following equations is the set of real numbers that are 7 units from negative 2. We're looking for all real numbers x such that the distance between x and negative 2 is equal to 7. The distance between x and negative 2 can be written as x minus negative 2 in absolute values. And that can be simplified to the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to 7, and that is choice A. So we went over some geometric methods for solving equations and inequalities involving absolute values. Let's look at some algebraic methods. These algebraic methods are derived precisely from looking at things geometrically. If we look at this picture, the absolute value of x is c means that the distance between x and 0 is equal to c. And that happens precisely twice at c and at minus c. For the second one, absolute x less than c, that's going to happen in this region here. And that's when x is between minus c and c. And for the absolute value of x greater than c, that's when the distance between x and 0 is bigger than c. And that happens out here and out here. And that's when x is less than negative c or x is greater than c. So let's look at an example. Let's solve these algebraically this time. Absolute x minus 3 equals 7. Well, that happens when x minus 3 is 7 or x minus 3 is negative 7. Adding 3 to each side of both of these equations gives us x equals 10 or x equals negative 4. So this one gives us two solutions, negative 4 and 10. 
For the next one, absolute x minus 3 less than 7, that's equivalent to x minus 3 between negative 7 and 7. Adding 3 to each of these three parts of this inequality, we get negative 4 less than x less than 10. And finally, for absolute x minus 3 greater than 7, that's equivalent to x minus 3 less than negative 7 or x minus 3 greater than 7. Adding 3 again, we get x less than negative 4 or x greater than 10. Let's look at another example. Which of the following is a value for z that solves the equation absolute z minus 4 equals 9? So remember this absolute value equation is equivalent to two equations without absolute values. z minus 4 equals 9 and z minus 4 equals negative 9. Adding 4, we have z equals 13 here. Don't be tricked into picking negative 13 as the answer. That is not correct. If we add 4 to the other equation, we get z equals negative 5, which is the correct answer, choice B. Let's do one more harder example. In a certain game, a player can attain a score that is a real number between 0 and 100. The player is said to be in scoring range D if his or her score is between 65 and 83. If John has a score of X and John is in scoring range D, which of the following represents all possible values of X? Okay, so John has score X and he's in scoring range D. That means his score is between 65 and 83. Now in order to write this as an absolute value inequality, the number on left and right have to be the same but opposite in sign. Using the answer choices as a guide, it seems reasonable to subtract 74 and see what happens. Well, when we subtract 74 from each of these three pieces, we get negative 9 less than x minus 74 less than 9. And this is equivalent to the absolute value inequality, absolute x minus 74 less than 9, and that is choice B.